What's it like when you're in the sled and that happens? Well, a normal bobsleigh run is incredibly noisy, and uh, you know there's no suspension on this thing. We're going 130 kilometers an hour down the track, <coughs> and uh, on a normal run, I have to scream as loud as I can just for the guy in front of me to hear hear my voice. And when you tip over that thing, it's, it's amplified 20 times. So if you have ice flying in your face, snow in your face, and uh, you know kind of bracing yourself because you don't know what's coming a lot of times. And uh, but the adrenaline kicks in, and uh, you don't normally feel. Uh, feel the pain until the next day, and uh, I think a lot of guys were, were sensing a bit of that, uh, that bruising for sure. Did you, at any point during that run, sort of feel that coming, or, or is, there, is there any for, for no, for I mean, 90 percent of crashes um, will occur at the end of the corner, so you'll roll out, let's say a little high towards the end and, and roll over. When we crashed in corner 14, we actually rolled into it, so it's kind of like um, starting a corner too late when you're on the highway, you know, when you're going 110 and forget to start the beginning of the turn and you're kind of get jerked to the side so um, in our sled that's exactly what happened we were pushed away a small small skid and uh, you're going you know, 130k in a 90 degree turn the, uh, you know, the G force is pulling you over and kind of make it likely to happen a lot of times there's a like a, a small moment of silence before you uh, before you're actually over but uh, you know, crashing in the corner is, is a, generally a, a worse crash because you're, you're being forced in the corner instead of a slow roll out. Um, but I didn't know what was happening until, uh, until we were upside down.